Hi, this is Tommy Stevens with K2 Enterprises. Thanks for stopping by for yet another in a series of technology tips. Today's tip focuses on how we can now snap a picture using our smartphones to import data into Excel. Now this is some functionality that Microsoft announced back in the fall of 2018 that is the ability to take your Android based or your iOS based mobile device, snap a picture using the camera on that device and then import that data into Excel. That feature has now been fully rolled out to both the Android as well as the iOS platforms and in this tip you're going to see just how easy it can be to get your data into Excel and get your data into Excel by simply snapping a picture. As we get started, it's important to understand that to take advantage of this feature, you must be running the Excel app on your mobile device. Now the good news here, if you have not already acquired this app, it is a free app available from both the Google Play as well as the iTunes app stores. Simply visit the app store, download the app, and you'll be off and running. You will notice on your screens that I have a mock-up of the app. Actually, it's a live app running, uh, but I'm mirroring the output of my iPhone to my screen so I can do the screen recording here to show you uh, the step-by-step -step procedures for snapping the pic to import the data into Excel. The particular tool that I'm using at this point is called Air Server. Air Server allows you to mirror the output of your iOS device onto a laptop, and that's indeed what we're doing in this case. So what I want to do to begin this process of snapping a picture and downloading the data uh, in, into Excel or importing the data into Excel, as I should say, I'm going to begin by clicking or tapping, I should say, the blank workbook icon in the upper left-hand corner of the app. And as you can see, that has now opened a blank workbook for me uh, in the app. Notice down near the lower right-hand corner, in the very lower right-hand corner, we actually see three dots, uh, the ellipses. You'll notice an icon just to the left of that that looks like a spreadsheet with a picture, or I'm sorry, a camera superimposed on top of the spreadsheet grid. That is the particular feature that we will need to use in order to snap the picture and import the data. So I will tap on that icon. And that, as you can see, has opened the camera on my phone. Now, in this case, I've got some data that I want us to import into the uh, app. So what I'm going to do is simply take my, the uh, phone and position it over the data that I want to import and snap the picture. Now, having snapped the picture, you can see that Excel has grabbed that image uh, from the camera, and it's now asking me to, shall we say, crop the image. That is, let's get rid of the, um, the blank space, as much of the blank space around the image as we can. And we do that simply by using our finger to tap as w and, and drag on the circles that are surrounding the pictures. Now, it's not necessary to get rid of every bit of that white space, but the more you get rid of, the better the image will be, and therefore, the better the data conversion will be. In the lower right-hand corner of the app, I'm simply going to tap Done. As you can see, the app is now giving us a preview of how it is going to convert the data. We see our image, our captured image, on the top of the screen, and then we get a preview of what the worksheet is going to look like uh, near the bottom of the screen. If necessary, we could go in, tap on any of the cells in the lower half of this screen, and make any necessary edits, uh, or we could actually, of course, make those edits once the data is inserted into the worksheet. In the lower left-hand corner of my phone now, I'm going to simply tap the insert icon and that of course has now inserted all of that data into the Excel worksheet in the Excel app. Now of course at this point it's just Excel data meaning I can do anything that I want to with it including if I have access to a OneDrive, a OneDrive for Business or SharePoint online account I could actually save that workbook in that cloud-based storage facility and then open and work with that workbook in the desktop instance of Excel. As you can see, importing data from a picture into Excel is rather easy. Just snap a picture of the data using the app on your smartphone, crop that image, and Excel is going to do the rest of the work for you. I would simply point out this is but one way that Microsoft is easing the process of getting data into your Excel workbooks. Others that you'll want to take a look at are the new stock and geography data types that have recently been added to Excel, along with the ongoing improvements to the Power Query utility.
Thanks for stopping by. I hope that you found this information to be useful, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.